Hello and welcome. Welcome to the introduction of a short series of practical English courses on sports that are played in English-speaking countries. Where do you think we are? You can see behind me tennis courts. Farther away there's a place where people play cricket, typical English or English British Commonwealth game. You think we're in Kent? Uh, Hartford? Surrey? No. We're in the Forêt de Meudon, just outside Paris, where there is the Standard Athletic Club. And here you can see its website. If you want to know more about it, go and take a look. And NetProf would like to thank the Standard Athletic Club very much for welcoming us here today and for having arranged that there be plenty of sunshine for us, so people playing tennis. I don't think anybody's playing cricket today, but we're going to talk about cricket in another uh, course. What are we going to cover in this series? Begin with two ball games, cricket, and one of its children called baseball and we have some surprises about that. You can also find information on rugby and lawn bowling. Two very typical British games. In the United States people don't play too much rugby. There are some rugby teams. Then a typical Scottish sport called caber tossing. We'll be discussing that. And an American sport called horseshoes, des fer à cheval, which in fact is not American at all, not Anglo-Saxon at all. It goes back, as we'll explain, to Roman times. And of course, golf, tennis, and curling, which is a sport that you play on ice. And we've got pictures to show all of these, to illustrate all of these sports with vocabulary associated with them. In English-speaking countries, often one sport led to another just as a kind of football led to rugby, okay? Now, when I mention rugby, take a look at this picture. That looks almost like a rugby match, doesn't it? Well, when there was inheritance of one sport from another, Sometimes the rules change. That, in fact, is a match of American football. An important difference between American English and English English. When the Americans say football, they mean that sport that we just saw. When the English say football, they mean le foot, which Americans call soccer or soccer football. Soccer coming from an old word meaning a group of people. So what's the difference between American football and its ancestor, rugby? One really important difference. In rugby, you may know, when you have the ball, like in American football, it's an oval ball, it's not round, but you can only toss or pass the ball behind not in American football. Here is an American football player getting ready to make what is called a forward pass. Other than that, the rules are fairly similar, fairly similar. I hope you enjoy this series and uh, you will find in writing the vocabulary, often with its French equivalents, when there are French equivalents, uh, attached to each of the courses. 
So again, welcome to the rather English Standard Athletic Club in the forest of Meudon. And just behind us is a bar. You can get some wine, but they prefer to serve you beer. <laughs>